Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the opportunity to speak out. I'm honored and pleased to address the message to our friends in Texas and the World Affairs Council in San Antonio. I'd like to start the, the summary of the 13 months of the full-scale Russian invasion. The enemy has demanded a surrendered discretion, but our flag still waves proudly from the walls. The words written 187 years ago here in Texas convey perfectly clearly that we are committed to back in Ukraine. Those aspiring heroes, Sam Houston, William Travis, Davy Crockett, and Juan Sagan, led Texans we, the way Ukrainians are moving today. We shall never surrender or retreat. At this moment, young Ukrainian men and women are facing down an evil terror regime in illegal and in immoral invasion of our country. We have done something Putin and his cronies barely can stand. We are free and democratic. And we want the same liberties our brother and sister in America and around the world enjoy. The KGB statesmen detest freedom and liberty. Their intent is to stamp in our hair. They are doing everything, rape, murder, genocide, and more to defeat us. Without it, they can't reconstruct the evil empire they've been moving for decades. They want us to be small Russians, but we are proud to be Ukrainians. We thank all of you who in the name of liberty, of the patriotism, and everything dear to American character came to our aid this all dispatch. The vital support we are receiving from you, both military and humanitarian, means the difference in the life and death, freedom and slavery. Our soldier, ordinary men and women from all walks of life are on the front lines fighting evil. So your, your young men and women don't have to. And we are honored to do uh, this and will go on until we secure our freedom and push back the Russian terrorist forces. I know that you, the members of the World Affairs Council in San Antonio and Texas, have been vital in relaying to your senators and congressmen and principal message the continued support of Ukraine is an American-owned self-interest. And it's in the interest of all citizens of, of the world who care about freedom and democracy. I want to especially thank Senator John Cornyn and Representative Mike McCall for their leadership in Congress and keeping the safe with us and you. The, to Charlie Bat, thank you for your commitment to our freedom and your friendship with Ukraine. Elizabeth Lawrence, thank you for your leadership and the vision for the America allied with Ukraine. I would like to use the opportunity to invite everyone presents to visit Ukraine. I have no doubt that upon seeing that the Russians have done in Bucha, Baradyanka, Izum, and elsewhere, you will support us, even those hesitating or opposing aid to Ukraine. The struggle for freedom has often brought countries and citizens of the world together. Who can forget Gilbert Lafayette besides George Washington in your independence war? And Franklin Delano Roosevelt supporting Winston Churchill. The Land Lease Program and their leadership were crucial in fightings of fascist dictators who intended to conquer the world. And we, of course, all remember the partnership between Ronald Reagan and Margaret Thatcher, who steadied down the Soviet and unleashed freedom across Central and Eastern Europe. Like was before us, Ukraine is grateful to be a full partner of United States. America's leadership has united 
and uh, the three world to help us. If your continue military support and your prayers, we will defeat evil again and help make the world a better place. Today we have every chance to repeat Sam Houston Army success and rid our land of the invaders. Thank you, and I look forward to welcome to you uh, to a free and safe Ukraine, hopefully very soon. Slava Ukraini!